As I'm filming this, I am currently 38 weeks, five days pregnant. When you see it, I will probably be in my 39th week if baby has not come before then. We finally, just last night, put the finishing touches on this nursery. Before we get started, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, comment something below. For the nursery, I was going with a really neutral space. I found a lot of inspiration on Pinterest. I'll share some of those pictures here and show you the theme that I was kind of going for. You know my style and you know that I like a boho. Scandinavian, modern, mid-century, and mixing those elements all together. And when I look at the nursery, I think it is a good reflection of just that. I'm super excited to finally share this space with you. Without further ado, let's go toward the nursery. All right, friends, this is what is going to become the nursery. As you can see, I've started putting some stuff here that I wanna keep in this space, but this has been our catch-all room for a while. And so I'm gonna start this morning by just cleaning it out and kind of starting to get things in place. I think it'll make me feel better just to get this room organized and then continue planning from there. Let me show you what I'm thinking. Originally, I was thinking crib on this wall with the rug under it, rocking chair over here. Over here, bringing in a dresser with the changing pad. I think I'm gonna end up selling this and then using the dresser I had in my master bedroom at the old house over here. And it's a little bit better of a height for a changing table. I'm still trying to decide what I want over here. I might end up changing all of this, but for now, that's the plan. So I purchased this light on Amazon without realizing that Amazon had a 30 day return policy. I have bought two for the kitchen and we only ended up using one. So I'm debating on if I should try to use this in a bedroom. It's not necessarily a bedroom light, but I think with everything else I have going on in here, it might work okay. I like using what I already have. I think that's gonna be the plan on this. I don't necessarily love the gold finish on this light, so I might end up spray painting it. I know a new light spray painting it, but it's just not my favorite gold. This stencil wall was not at all difficult to do. It was just time consuming and instead of giving you guys a step-by-step -step tutorial, I thought I would link the one that I watched yeah. in the description below. There are so many tutorials on YouTube from experienced stencilers. I am definitely not an experienced stenciler, but for my first time, I'm very happy with the way that it turned out. But if you've been thinking about stenciling, I would say go for it. If all else fails, you can always paint right over it. And that's what makes stenciling a little bit safer than wallpaper in my opinion. So I think it's finally time to share with you Little Man's Nursery Reveal. So as you walk in, you've got this little table this was a thrift find that we had in the old house and I wasn't using it anywhere here. So I decided to put it in the nursery and as you can see inside, we've just got books and it'll be good storage for toys and whatever I want to get out of plain sight. I got these shelves off of Amazon. This little planter I absolutely love. It's from Hobby Lobby. As you all know, this is our little rainbow baby. And so I love incorporating this into the space. And then how cute are these little baby converse? I thought they were so adorable. I'm probably going to get a piece of artwork over here. I just haven't done that yet. And then over here, I just try to add in a few little elements to make it nursery-like. So part of a little train. So this is a nursery works chair that we kind of splurged on, but it's super comfortable and we like the width of it. It actually will be great for an adult and a toddler. It's just a little bit wider than a normal rocking chair. And then my mom actually helped me refinish this ottoman. I had this material, I had purchased it a little while ago and I was not using it, so we decided to reupholster an ottoman that I already had around the house and I think it looks really nice with the rug color. I'm okay with mixing different color woods. It's kind of boho, eclectic, 
and that's definitely my style. Over here, we decided to put this ladder up. I know once the baby gets bigger, we're gonna have to rearrange this when he can start pulling up on things, but for now, I have a few of my swaddle blankets over here, and then this little side table is something that we had from Target that we weren't using. And I love adding different placemats on top of things like this to bring in more of that boho feel. And then this little mobile my mom ended up making for us. How cute is it? It brings in a touch of rainbow once again. I just find it to be so adorable. Yeah, I was really excited about that when she gifted it to us. This crib is from Amazon. It was actually pretty inexpensive and I liked the simplicity of it. And then over here, I picked up these feathers from Hobby Lobby. And you all have seen this before. It's one of my thrifted finds, but I thought it actually worked pretty well over here at this little corner. Down here, we have our little play mat. This was a gift from my baby shower, and this is the Stunkle Me Organic that I've heard great things about. And then of course, I have to show you the curtains, which are gonna be a little bit more difficult to film. So we originally had some darker curtains over here, and it just made the space look very dark. So we added these curtains with the little pom-poms, and I think it makes all of the difference. Uh, these were Amazon. I'll be sure to link everything I can for you in the description below. And the light was actually from Walmart. These shelves were a Christmas gift and we decided to put some of the books up there. I'm so excited to read to Little Guy. It's really funny, as you guys can tell, I have a lot of rust colors throughout the nursery and we haven't announced the name yet to family so everybody on my side of the family has been calling him Rusty. I had a family member give us this little guy because he was Rust. I just think he's so adorable. We decided to go with the long gold mirror on this wall. I had thrifted this a while ago. We weren't using it. And I think it looks really nice above the changing table, which is just a dresser that we already had. This is from Marshalls. It's definitely for like magazines or mail or something, but I'm using it for diapers. And I'm gonna put some wipes in there and some little cloths. Still need to paint these closet doors. They were original to the house, but we just haven't gotten to them. But in here, it's somewhat organized. This is stuff I'm gonna be taking to the hospital with me. We've got some different toy bins up there. I've got some bigger size clothing in here, as well as extra diapers and wipes that we have been gifted. For the rugs, I decided to do a layer look. Originally, I had just purchased this rug right here from Target because I liked all the colors in it, but then when we got it in the space, I realized it just felt too cold with all the hardwood. So we decided to also purchase this white softer rug just to kind of soften the space and make it more kid friendly. And this rug was pretty inexpensive online. If I can find a link to it, I will link it for you as well. But I think it does help to break up the different woods and just to make it feel a little bit more childlike. Thank you so much for watching today's video. Again, if you are not subscribed and you like videos like this, be sure to subscribe. And if we are not Instagram friends, I would love for you to follow me over there on Instagram because I'm always sharing sneak peeks over there. The nursery is probably my new favorite room in the house. Maybe it's because it's the only room that's actually completed, but it just brings me so much joy to come in here and to look around and to anticipate his arrival. I hope you enjoyed today's video. As always, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next one. Bye!